Hello guys, here with a very cool launcher that has been um, leaked and ported to the Galaxy S3 like you see right here. Um, it's also compatible with any device running ice cream sandwich and jelly bean but one kaput, it has to be rooted. Your phone has to be rooted. And let's go ahead here to the website, to the XDA developer and first give thanks to Selena C. Um, he's the one, or she, I don't know, <laughs> he's the one responsible for porting this and make it possible to work on these devices over here. He got the leak and he's doing the updates and everything. And it has been already updated. Like you see right here, there's a couple um, wallpapers, um, screenshots of how it looks. It looks very, very cool. And like you see right here, this is the latest update very cool and to install it all you gotta do is click on this link right here and over here you could get the wallpapers as well if you want but on your phone you could just click on this link and it will take you to one website here where it will start downloading right here and once that's done just click that download and like you see right here it's gonna start downloading um, um, the way to install this, you have to go to Clockwork Mod. If you guys, if you guys are rooted, you guys should know. You gotta go to Clockwork Mod. Uh, the easiest way that I go through Clockwork Mod is by I downloaded an app called um, Quick Root, Quick Boot, and just press Recovery. Let me come ahead and show it for this video, for the purpose of this video. Uh, the normal way to do to get here is pressing volume down the power button and home button for but for me um, trying to get all three buttons at the same time is pretty annoying so that's why I use this app it takes you there much more faster so all you gotta do is go here to install from zip from zip card then go over here install from internal card SD card uh, remember when you download it from the internet it will automatically put it in your downloads folder so and once you go here go to downloads folder select and here it is there it is and once you select that and select install I'm not gonna do it but once you select install it will install it very very fast It's it's very very small and just go ahead and reboot like you saw right there just go ahead and reboot and that's it and it's gonna be installed uh, keep in mind it's not gonna replace your current launcher or nothing it's just gonna install just like any other launcher just like you would Nova um, Apex um, just like you any other launcher would install and you would actually have to make it um, your default launcher if you want you know to keep using it without having the that problem when you press the home button it'll keep asking you hey which launch you want to use so here I set it up as default um, it, uh, um, by default it brings this nice looking clock right here very cool um, but right now you can go ahead and move it anywhere you want I like it I, I want to put it right there it looks very cool right there it looks very sexy right there uh, this wallpaper I actually got it from the Zedge app this is the Xperia Z wallpaper and I got it from the Zedge app so you could go ahead there and search Xperia Z and you will get this app uh, wallpaper from there very very cool very nice um, let me go ahead and tap here this is uh, another widget from Sony it's very very nice uh, widget it's a very it's a live widget if you can see right there the Sun is like rotating um, at night it looks very cool as well you can see clouds going by and e e lights blinking um, the stars blinking and sometimes even um, a shooting star and everything very very cool and when you tap on it you're gonna have the wall uh, more information very nice look at that you got today's day night Friday Saturday Sunday nice um, here you can also have this widget right here like you see right here it's like a action tool widget and I love the animation it has that looks very nice and from here you can go ahead and and tap on anything you wanna activate and one thing that I really like about this tool uh, 
is the NFC. It has it actually has the NFC there, which is awesome because there's no right now this phone has no toggles for NFC, and right there it has one for NFC. So it will automatically turn on and off NFC. That's very very cool. Let me turn it off. You also have roaming here. You could turn on and off roaming as well. I could turn it off too. Very nice. Um, here, this is another widget from Sony. This is uh, the last recent calls. So right now, this way you could also uh, resize it as well. Because something crashed there. It wasn't. It wasn't from this app. And like you see right there, it, it you could also resize it. It will show you all your recent calls, and you could just tap on one of them, and it will take you there to that call. Uh, the folder is very nice to make create folders very easily. Let me show you guys. Oh, you press on there, and it will automatically create the name, and that's it. Very easily. Um, one thing here, also the if you go to uh, apps draw, you press on that. Look at that. How look it looks. Okay, the dolphin browser crashed. Uh, look at how look cool it looks. It looks very very cool. And from over here, you could go ahead and set it up um, on your own order. I like the way it, it it moves around. Look at that. That looks very cool. Recently installed. Oh, they go alphabetically order. Nice. <laughs> and from here, if you press the setting, you could go ahead and press that, and you could uninstall any app from here, which is awesome. Very easily. Like for example, if I want to uninstall that, I would go ahead and click uninstall and it will automatically uninstall it very, very easily, just like that. Let's go back. And I like the animation that it has when it goes in and out of the launcher, of the draw, look at that. You can see the, 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 the num, the clock and everything go up. Looks very, very cool. Very nice. Um, also, to customize the, the the homepage, all you gotta do is press here, and look at that. That looks very nice. You could add up to seven um, home home pages, and it's very easy. All you gotta do is tap here. And look at that. Tap there. Very fast. And it, th this warp, this launcher is very very fluid. Love it. Um, here, very easily, you can click here and select the wallpaper from here. Very easily. And if you click here, you could also access your apps from here. Very cool. And I like the way it puts app because you could either go ahead and tap and put it over here, right? Or you could just go ahead and tap. And I like I like the way it has that animation. Look at that. That looks very cool. <laughs> and you can go ahead here. Go ahead and to delete. I'm gonna go with that and I like this animation over here I'll also look at the animation of the trash can so let's go back here I'm um, here in widgets you could also access all your widgets from here instead of having it on the in the draw like you would before uh, you have it all here and the Sony this X this launcher will actually give you more clocks as well if you click on here you'll see more clocks available you could choose that one you could choose that one and like you see it looks very nice going on the screen look at that very cool that's very nice um it also has for example let me see it has another widget called notes uh over here look at this one has another widget called notes and that's it and of course another widget over here tools and you could go ahead and choose this big tool box that that's the one we have over there uh, that I showed you before or you could go ahead and choose one independent one and for example let's go ahead and choose near field communication um, tool and the Wi-Fi hotspot or I could go ahead and, and just eliminate one of them if I want I could put the Bluetooth if I want there and that's it I could keep on going. Of course, this is the weather one that was installed, and that's it. Let's go back, and there it is. Um, this um, widget is pretty cool. It's notes. It's an app, but it also has a widget. So if if you go back, 
if you go back to your draw you're gonna see this app called notes very cool if you call, click there you could either type or you could go ahead and press there and change colors change size very cool and you could also erase and here you could also if you tap here you can also record your voice and put it on the note Let's go ahead and that's it and that's it and you can see there automatically it's going to save it and tap here you can also record your voice so like you saw right there it works perfectly very cool and to eliminate these you got to go there nfc nice very cool this is a very very nice launcher and it works i've been using it since yesterday and it's been it's been working very very nice been working very very nice go right there and of course if you tap on here it will take you to the alarm section with the default alarm you, when the first time you launch you install this app you're gonna have this selection so i for example i will go ahead and choose this one Xperia home like you see right there and choose always That's it. And now when I go here I'm always gonna have this one as my default and it looks very nice. I like the way it looks it looks very very cool it Looks very very nice And that's it guys. This was a look of the Xperia launcher uh, Xperia Z launcher running on the Galaxy S3 and I gotta say thumbs up to the developer Selena Selena C I hope I'm not I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Thumbs up to him. Did an awesome job porting it over here. Love it. Looks beautiful. Till next time, guys.